the games begin to kick off around the country it's Southampton they get us started Yeah, just have a look at the setup there, as you mentioned. Uh, they're on the opposite side to what we had them on the graphic. You see Romain Mundell, the 14 down below us. Abdullah Bar's actually started over on the left hand side. You see Sunderland pressing really high. Sialdo, who's trying to get the ball back for Sunderland. Southampton keep possession, and we'll see a lot of this this afternoon, Danny. We will, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it, from, from Mike Dodds' point of view, as he set them up, saying, no, listen, we're going to go down there and press them high. We've done it quite well, actually, first off on, on Tuesday, didn't we, against Leicester. Leicester wanted to play out, and how many times did the goalkeeper clip the ball out of play, trying to find Callum Doyle down below us? And if you do force them to go long, whether you'd back us today, we've got Dan Ballard and... Oh, he's in. Yes, Mason Burstow is in for Sunderland. Chris Riggs in the middle, he's played too far in front of him. Yeah, he didn't back himself there, did he? I think drive across the defender. Let's have a look at it back now. Sends him short with the header, he's in there now. Driver, can he drive across him? There, next touch there. No, he's never going to score from there. And he's opened his body up, he's got... I'm not sure who it was in the middle there with the arms up asking for him. It was Chris Rigg, wasn't it? Yeah. Can he square it for him? Big opportunity early on for Sunderland. Yelled it a little bit too keen in the challenge He's played out to the right hand side meanwhile the kick's been taken small bone it's Manning gets it back Well, we had the back four right anyway, this, isn't it? Hjelda there, you see Dan Ballard sealed in alongside him. And Trey Hume in at right back. Loose ball. He's been a little bit loose early on, Southampton. Ball away. Job trying to get it back. Trey Hume doing his best. That looks like a sullen throw. Adam Armstrong trying to kid the referee there. So yeah, come back agree. off Trey Hume, it never. Adam Armstrong, been in the goals this season. 17 in all competitions. Yes, yeah, most goal involvements, I think. Goals and assists, 28 in the league. He's really good at this level, isn't he? Yeah, he's he? good. Yeah, he's sharp. Always plays on the shoulder. Puts himself about as well for a, for a smaller bloke. Plus £15 million pounds from Blackburn Rovers. But here's Southampton. Shot comes in, it's wide of Anthony Patterson's goal. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened in the build-up there. I think we were looking at the, the Southampton bench, but he finds himself in a pocket of space there, Brooks, coming in off the right side. Had the option to roll Shea Adams in. Used him as a, a bit of a decoy. He gets the shot away through Dan Ballard's legs, but he drags it past that far post. Quite a lot of space in that pocket there, yeah. didn't it? Wendell goes inside looking for Chris Rigg. He's shoved. Suddenly get the decision. Yeah, that's what you'd expect. You see the setup there with, with them having the, the one and the two. It's Flynn Downs in there, isn't it? And Chris Rigg will be in and around him this afternoon. Trying to cut those little threaded balls into him. He's in behind. Oh. Stopped his run there. I think he knew Too he was going to get yeah. there. Interesting, suddenly looking for that ball, though. Yeah, it's on. The high line again from Southampton. Something we mentioned before the game. You know, put a few balls in behind them early on as well. Is this one going to drop? Comes to... Shea Adams is looking for the run of Adam Armstrong. Trey Hume's gone with him. Downs. Stuart Armstrong gives it to his namesake, Adam. So trying to get it away, but they can't at the moment. over the top too much on that one yeah you've got to be switched on there you just see a little bit of rotation from Southampton Daniel gets dragged out the middle once Hjelda goes to press 
on the left hand side we've got to be alive to it so too much on the pass there Mike Dodds looking on at the opening exchanges Southampton get the throw on the line looking for Armstrong Yeah, good from you know, just, we just switched off for a moment, did Armstrong getting in down the line. Shields across there, gets his body in. Get the iPad out. The Southampton dugout. Keep recycling the ball fast, won't yeah. they, Southampton? See, just have a look at Chris Rigg there. He's just gesturing to, to either Joe or Daniel to just to step up a little bit. And, you know, you can't have those 20, 30 yard gaps in there if he's going to go and press with Burstow. Need to come with him. There we go. Oh. Too strong that time from Dan Ballard. To Bazunu goes through the middle. Those balls could go anywhere and with a flash like that. Dan Ballard picks it up for Sunderland. Oh, it was almost played in by Rig towards Burstow. Yeah, again, it was good press from Sunderland. Forced Bazunu to go long, plays it straight to Dan Ballard who steps in. Sunderland's throw. You see what Chris Rigg's looking for. It comes. He's just trying to flip one around the corner into Burstow. Got cut out though. For Mundell. Oh, by Ryan Manning. Armstrong. Well, that didn't go to plan. Mundell will ask the question. Bazunu. Some pressure there. Good pressing. Yeah, get over the end, Southampton, but didn't help each other out, did they? Well, they could be in here. Oh, furious. Oh, what's happened here? So we've got Jansen Seals going in the book. That's what's happening. He's pulled. Is it Armstrong through the middle? Pulls him back. I think his boot comes off here. Let's have a look. Yeah, so into small bone there. See that on there, Brooks. There, yeah, yeah, it is. He pulls his shirt back, doesn't he? Jensen Seal panic sets in, wrong side. What eight minutes on the clock? He's in the book very early to go in center half. That's what you see from Southampton there. They, you know, they, they've started okay, but they've put each other in trouble and a little bit of bother at times, haven't they? Then you see, I think it was Armstrong played it back into the left back position. Eventually they get out of it and they do beat the press. But then we've got to be organised behind the ball, you see, from all of a sudden it's looked like we can nick it to, to being on the back foot getting caught cold. Ryan Manning was standing over it. Smallbourne just took up that position. Flynn Downs is the, where, there as well. It's going to be flicked over probably, Danny. I just wonder if he's going to... No, he's played it short. Now it comes towards that back post. Put up by Job. Oh, it's back in there. First one from Patterson, but the second one goes in. Well, it's an absolute mess, isn't it? The ball's flicked in there. I'm thinking straight away, can Anthony Patterson come and claim it? There's no real pressure in and around him there. And he's got two Sunderland players below him. Job. I'm not sure who the other one is. Let's have a look at it back now. They take it short and it's stood up there. I think can Anthony Patterson just come and claim it? And then Job gets himself in a right mess. Not sure what he's doing. He puts it back into a Bednarik who gets terrible the area. We've just gifted Southampton a goal out of nothing. Stuart Armstrong it is, running away with well, his hand in the air. Again, it's, it's, it's another set of pieces, isn't it? But it's what, third phase maybe? Again, we've got bodies back there. Just not helping Anthony Patterson out at this moment in time. The search for a clean sheet continues.
conceding early yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had that big opportunity, didn't we, as well? Mason burst out. A couple of minutes on the clock. His job. Yeah, if you're not sure there, head it out to the right back place. You know, he, he's got to get a shout whether he's got a shout off Anthony Pats in time or no one's on you. He's got to come and claim it. And then Job there just head it out to the right back's position for a throw in. He puts it back across the goal, doesn't he? So the top looking for burst up. Chris Rigg. Wriggling away. Digs out a good ball to the left hand side. Dan Neal picks it up. Dulla Bar. Jack Stevens. Well, that's 11 without a clean sheet now, isn't it? It's similar to, was it Tuesday night, 12th minute we conceded? I think some of the fans would probably be able to go through the goals conceded this season and a lot Ooh. of them may have been their own doing yeah yeah it's, it's a different th thing isn't it where if you if you get carved open from open play and, and teams pop it through you sometimes you have to hold your hands up and say you know it was a well-worked goal we've seen some from ourselves over the last year or two but just the goals at this moment in time balls coming into the box we're not dealing with it aerially uh, Norwich last week one ball in, isn't it? Don't deal with it. Back of the net. He's Chris Rigg. Fancies it. He's cut out. Always looks positive when he gets on the ball, Chris Rigg. Abdullah Bar trying to make something happen on that left-hand side. He's battling to get it back. He does get it back. Abdullah Bar gets to the byline. Stops, pulls it back. He's looking for Mundell. Southampton break on the far right-hand side. Oh. Sunderland get a player back in time. Yeah, I think Shield it gets back in in the end, I think. Let's have a look down there. They want the free kick for that one on, on Shield. They don't get it, and then Dan Ballard dives in. Doesn't deal with it. Shield then eventually gets back in and gets fouled. A couple of goals going in around the championship. Norwich City have taken the lead at home to Rotherham. Blackburn Rovers are beating struggling Plymouth Argyle by a goal to nil. Armstrong. Keeps possession. Plays it back to Manning. Southampton on top here. Down at St Mary's. Bellis gets it back. Bednarek. Armstrong. Flipped over the top. Bednarek looking for Will Smallbone there. Yeah, I think these are the sort of patterns you'd expect Southampton to have a, a lot of possession in, really. The two centre halves camped on the halfway line, dominating the ball. As the game settles down a little bit. Armstrong. Let's return. It's all the way over for some and throw. Yeah, and you see as well, Armstrong, for, for all the goals he's, he's got so far this season, 17 of them, he's not afraid to, to run the channels, does he, and pull out wide and try and get in behind the Sunderland full-backs and centre-backs. Mike Dodds there, <laughs> oh no, here we go again, he's thinking I'm sure, but still a long way to go in the game. Well there was on Tuesday evening, Yep. Sunderland were able to settle back into the game and impose themselves on Leicester City during the week, Mike Dodds will be hoping for more of the same and a bit more in the remaining of this game.
Pistol loses out. Job tries to get it back for Sunderland. Howard Bellis. Izunu. Turn forward, too much on that one though. Yeah, they're, they're the ones we mentioned before the game of saying there, but it goes into Bursto. Dan Ballard plays it a comfortable pass into him. He's just got to secure it for us. In and around the halfway line, can't turn over possession as cheap as that. Here's Trey Hume for Sunderland. Mundell. Trying to advance on that right hand side, he wins a throw in. That's what you want to see from him picking the ball up and being, and being bright, driving forward, positive runs. First up, flick it through for Rig. Zunu under pressure. Who gets there first? Sunderland player did. Yeah, he gives it in the end. And Brooks. Kjell just reads it a little bit quicker than him. He's in front of him. He just catches him in. Let's have a look. See there, yeah, steps across him. Didn't think he was going to give it at first there, Stuart Atwell. I said it on Tuesday night, I don't feel we made the most of the advantage. I felt we had a height advantage, physicality about us on Tuesday over at Leicester. We didn't really use it. Here's Bart. Some of the players are still forward. Comes to nothing, though. Full City have taken the lead against Leicester City in their fixture. I think. Hull actually beat Leicester 1 0 earlier in the season as well at, uh, at the King Power. Well and truly in that race for that sixth spot if they were to win there. And a bit of a gap would certainly between Sunderland and them. Hume, who's found himself on the other side. Yeah, I was just wondering as he, as he switched to the seals. Let's have a look at this develops. It's cut out, but it falls to Sh Sh Adams and then, then all the way through to Armstrong. You can see it might have got a touch on that one, goes yeah, for the corner. Touch on it, yeah. Then Panic Station's back there, give the ball away. Jump dives in there, doesn't get anything on it. It sets there for Stuart Armstrong. He's just trying to place it in that far corner, isn't he? Takes a, a deflection behind for the corner. Hopefully he's got his eye on something. Armstrong. He's with Chris Rigg. Yeah, Chris Rigg there, just trying to keep Armstrong away from Anthony Patterson with the in-swinger coming on top of him. Shea Adams in there as well. See Sunderland set up across the six-yard line, zonal. That's the outswinger now, in fact. It's up in the air, Silt tries to deal with it, can't. Bednarik comes back in, deflection. Yeah, just trying needs to get rid of it. Try and settle down, get it together. Have a little breather back there. A little bit ragged the last couple of minutes. It's the 70th meeting between these two sides. It's currently split. 25 wins to Sunderland. 27 defeats. That's the draws. Some of the fans won't need reminding of what happened back in 2014 down at St Mary's. It's, it's caught late there, Daniel, as he tries to hook it down the line off Brooks, Brooks coming across. Yeah. 
There's still. Trey Hume. He's Job. Well, is on the left. Ball's gone down the line, but Hale can't find him. Will be a sudden throw, though. clearance goes straight to Southampton and they could be in here Ooh. over the top yeah again we're just making problems for ourselves aren't we goes back to Anthony Patterson he gets sold maybe a little bit short but still he's a bit casual with the left foot seat doesn't get the connection on it straight to Armstrong and then well into Adam Armstrong and then he's let us off goes for power gets underneath it up and over the top of the crossbar but can't keep gifting opportunities away like that to a side like Southampton Taking the lead against Coventry City. As Armstrong finds himself on the ball again. Crossfield ball. He's in Gary Brooks. Clipped into the middle. Adams. Sealed. It's an important header in there. And Abdullah Bar finds himself with the ball. Chris Rigg. He's coming to bring it under yeah, full control. Yeah, hold of that there, Chris Rigg. Lovely little ball into him actually from Kiel that just picks him up in the in the pocket of space. Uh, give it back to Southampton again. Allow gets a cross, but some half opportunity there which goes for the corner yeah. Adams thought he was in Seal gets a good block in doesn't he on Shea Adams run across there reversed into his path and as I say Seal gets the big long leg in there does enough but it's worrying for Sunderland as I say since the goal Southampton took control of the game two nil now to Norwich City in the game against Rotherham United. Is this one going to drop? Sealed. Hooks it away for now. And downs. Smallbourne puts it forward. Ballard's there again. Can't work it down the line. Stretch from Job wins it back for Sunderland. Important interception there. Oh. Well, that's loose at the back from Silt. And Armstrong has it. Armstrong. Between two minds there, I think. Yeah, again, Jensen Silt on this occasion. Sloppy pass into the middle of the park. And, well, we're just creating our own problems time and time again. Southampton driving there. Not clinical enough from their point of view. I think that'll be the disappointing thing for, from Russell Martin's side of things. That they're only a goal in front, Southampton. They haven't punished us. before as well Frankie in terms of Southampton having that good blend of some, some good youth in there and some experience in there when you're looking around us today Luco Nine suspended who's 
our senior figure really at this moment in time, Corey Evans. Obviously the, the club captain and, and not been fit all season. Where's the experience out on that pitch at this moment in time? <laughs> you know, in terms of games under the belt at this level. Well, it's not too much out there, is there? Maybe Ballard. Dan, Dan Ballard and Dan Neil. Dan Neil, Trey Humes obviously played a few games now, isn't he? Fifty odd is it at this level? If that Ballard threw his loans while he was at Arsenal, he played a lot in the championship. Yeah. Zunu. Bam. Just takes it away. So he get the throw. So he's taken. Good done. We can get on the end of that one. Silt. Gives it to Trey Hume here for Sunderland. Sunderland get back into this game. Still plenty of time left, of course, of the game. This is a very good Southampton side. Burstow comes back, keeps possession for Sunderland. Runs ahead of the ball. Mundell is into the middle. Oh, I don't think that's a bad ball. The only thing is, you can see Mason Burstow was actually running the channel for him there, but he takes a touch out of his feet. And if this is a good ball, I think Abdullah Bar's coming off the other side and it's bounced a couple of times there across the six yard line. You know, people have complained in recent weeks we're not putting enough ball in there. Well, there's one going in there, crying out for somebody to, to make a run in there, gamble, get on the end of it. Nobody does. Bar. Good momentarily. He's Job on the ball for Sunderland. They're still trying to get it back. Yeah, again, that wasn't a bad ball in uh, from, from Job into Chrissy Rigg. Just got away from him slightly, had it taken off him. Sealed. Can he get there? Armstrong gets on the end of it. Comes all the way through, passing. Should get there to Manning. Popped it through. Yeah. Just see again there, that's what I mentioned about Armstrong before. He doesn't look the biggest, does he? Just backed into Jensen Silt there, took it off him. Some of the fans you can hear behind the goal there. Job. Sealed. Still can't bring it under full control, but it does bounce through for Abdullah Bar. He's waiting for Hjelda to get up to speed. He gets there. He's Bar. Mundell. Rig. Job. Over the top tree. Hume's in here. Pulls it back. And again. Oh, he's oh. in the post. Bar has an effort as well. Sullen still have it. He's Abdullah Bar. Dan Neal now. Dan Ballard. I see that back soon, but I think Mason Bussell hit the post. Yeah, I think there. he did, yeah. It's had the post difficult angle, wasn't it? I was say wait for the break in play, but haven't seen it back yet. They work it well actually, Sunderland across the pitch. Trey Hume had a couple of attempts at the cross, but here we go now, Southampton on the counter. And Dan Ballard was there, thankfully. Shea Adams picks it up, and then plays it forward, and Brooks has gone offside. It was a good passage of yeah. play there from Sunderland, the best spell in the game. Taken off yeah, they worked it well. Let's have a look back now, yeah, into to Job there, just feeds it out to Trey, lovely little clip in behind to get caught, Southampton, the full-back's really narrow, Manning cuts the first one out and then back into, you see there, he's never going to score, it's difficult for him, isn't it? Just tries to go with... Brute force and blast it past Bazuna at his near post. 
Almost makes it. Yeah, nearly did. Running under pressure from Mundell. Continue his run. This is on here. Neil, and small bone, and there's a challenge on the edge. Referee's brought it back. And Ballard. Back into the book. Yeah, it's like his 11th of the season. Now he's need back from suspension. And yeah, fully committed. Doesn't get there. The centre half's on yellow cards now. If he's feeling his, his knee there, just getting a breather in Dan Ballard. Don't look too comfortable. The Orange are leading 3 0 at home to Rotherham United. Yeah, that, look that, like that, I think that struggling. one's done, isn't it? Yeah, I think Rotherham are, are down, let's be for honest. And Southampton planning from this set piece. Smallbone. It's David Brooks. Pass and takes. Yeah, comfortable one, wasn't it? Sees it all the way. No real power on it. You see that one there, ball goes up to Mason Burst, though. He's actually won a couple now. Yes, people have a gamble, a little bit of movement with flat footed. Nobody's taking a, a little gamble and running in behind for the flick on. Ballard trying to win it back. And Abdullah Barr picks it up for Sunderland. Barr's caught. The shot comes in for Mason Burst, though. Just rigged. Yeah, well, let's have a look at the Southampton players around the, the referee. They feel it's a foul on Sherrams. It's Dan Ballard again, just been booked. Keep your eye on it, top of your picture. Ball goes in, he reads it, and then... Let's have a look back. Well, I think Shea Adams certainly plays the ball back. Did you catch him? Not too sure, but... He's feeling it. Let's play one on then. Mason Burst, though, he gets caught, I think. Gets a little bit excited, pulls the trigger from 25 yards out. He could have rolled in Mundell to the right-hand side. Problems yeah. again at the back. Yeah, we've just been loose too many times this afternoon so far. Hume comes across, deals with that one. Mike Dodds, not happy. Yeah, well, he'd be frustrated for all the work he does on the training ground. It goes out the window and caused by our own errors, really, isn't it? I think you can look at Southampton have had three, four good opportunities, but how many have they created really from, from the good play, you know, building out from the back as they like to? Probably from us giving it away in our own half too many times. He's Trey Hume for Sunderland. First all goes down, gets a free kick on this occasion. So Martin not happy with that decision. I'm, I'm guessing, as he's saying, is it not similar to the one Dan Ballard on Shea Adams a minute ago from his point of view? No centre backs don't put the brakes on, come through the back of players. Feels a little bit loose there. Someone get the throw. What a job, fourth officially. <laughs> and Duckworth getting it there. And give it away from the throw. Yeah, 
Bednarik clears it out. Armstrong. Not too much on that one. Yeah, you see that from Southampton, willing to take risks at the back, aren't they? Short passes and all of a sudden they pop a lovely ball through and take several Sunderland players out of the game with one little pass. They're still beaten to the ball, Job wasn't. Mundell, possession for Sunderland, he has, he's played it back to Trey Hume, but then Southampton pick it up. He's Armstrong. Oh, oh and it's, a, it's an easy yeah. decision for the referee, I think. <laughs> is it Chris Rigg that goes flying? I think it's Dan Neal. No, it's Chris it is Rigg, Chris Rigg, yeah. He's back there. One would say, you know, he thinks he's cutting the cross out. He's dummies the cross, doesn't he? It is Chris Rigg. Manning, Cruyff's him. He's and then, trailing leg, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, you say it's naive, isn't it? You see, so, you know, seasoned pros make those type of challenges at times in the box. But, yeah, can he stay on his feet? He's, he's actually done well initially tracking him back. Stay on your feet there. Goes flying in. Adam Armstrong with an opportunity to put Southampton two up. Does goes down the middle, I think, doesn't he? Anthony Patterson going to his right hand side. He's having a word with the referee there. Not too sure what about. Does he feel that it's not a penalty? Does he feel that Chris Riggs caught him, but oh, he slips as well. Ah, I think I think he may be asking as he played the ball twice off his off his standing foot, maybe. Yeah, do you know what? If that's the case, it, you know, it would be disallowed if he plays it off his uh, off his standing foot, but well, he's given it, and Southampton are two goals up. So one in the book. Quite sure what's happening here. We've been watching the replay. We're at the immersive. Yeah. See so that. the Sunderland players are saying you've yeah, been done. I think so. Yeah, I've seen it a few times. I think Zenden done it actually for Middlesbrough. Was it the cup final years ago, League Cup final? But yeah, you, obviously if you if you slip and you play it off your other foot, you deem to have touched the ball twice, so it should be disallowed. But I think that's what the Sunderland players are, are asking the question. We'll get confirmation if anyone else was booked there, Danny, in our ears. We've got Proctor having a good old word with the fourth official. Yeah. Adam Armstrong choosing to celebrate in front of the Sunderland fans. He played one league game for Newcastle United. Down, Job has it kept going for Sunderland. It's going to be a hard afternoon now, you think, down in Yeah, this is it. Yeah, absolute mountain to climb, isn't it? Got to dig in now, the lads. Several minutes before the break. I think yeah, it's difficult for Mike Dodds, isn't it? You know, game plans out the window, and but at this point, thing for him, yeah, they've had one or two good opportunities other than the, the two goals they've scored. But look at the goals, and the manner in which they've got them, isn't it? Not dealt with a free kick coming in. Gifted him that first one and then that one there. You know, Chris Rigg, can he just stay on his feet? And Ryan Manning goes flying in. There's Manning. Armstrong. Armstrong's on the score sheet this afternoon for Southampton. So winner back through Ballard. It's Trey Hume now. Chris Rigg, him in Mundell. Mundell runs into traffic. Pops out though for Job. Dan Neal under pressure. Kjelda. Header goes in. It's Mundell with yeah, the header. Mundell in there. It's a difficult one. He's got to stoop down to try and get to it and get some power on it. The ball comes in from Hjelde. Trying to glance it, isn't he? It's quite brave. Straight at the goalkeeper, yeah. A few feet in there as well. Manning 
now to Armstrong. And Adam Armstrong under pressure. Smallbone picks it up. Downs. He's Manning. Ednarek. Ball through the middle, looking for Shea Adams. Adams holds off Ballard. Plays in Brooks, looking to pull the trigger. Dan Neal doing enough. And surely he's fouled yeah, as he tries to play yeah. it out there. He has got the decision. Yeah, yeah. yeah, space open up again there for Shea Adams, isn't it, through the middle. He's Chris Rigg through the middle for Sunderland. He's Abdullah Bar now. Bar's inside the area. Abdullah Bar. Has he got the corner? He has. First one of the afternoon for Sunderland. Another little stat for you that I noticed earlier as well. Southampton before today had 279 corners. That's 50 more than any other team. Yeah. That's a lot of corners. Yeah, we usually have 10-12 a game, but we've dried up in recent weeks, haven't we? And Southampton have had two this afternoon so far. 2-8-1 then. Yeah. <laughs> Update your stats. Dan Neal. Captain this afternoon, Dan Neal. Proud moment for him, I'm sure, but uh, you want to get a result for the supporters behind Anthony Patterson's goal. Southampton going through the gears now. Downs. Yeah, I think get in, can we get in the break, keep it at two, try and regroup a little bit. Obviously, the, the atmosphere is going to be quiet in the changing rooms. Mike Dodds has got to get them going, second 45 minutes. Does he think about changing then, anything? Yeah, possibly, yeah. He'll have a look at one or two things, I'd imagine. Some of the bigger names on the bench. I was going to say Edward, whether that's Roosin, personnel or, or changing the formation. Obviously, your two centre-backs are on yellow cards as well. I'd probably say as well, Southampton have, have not even been in sort of third, fourth gear either. That's the disappointing thing. You could see Russell Martin a minute ago. Could be another opportunity yeah. here. As a well. Yeah, I thought I took a deflection at first, but it's... Jack Stevens, I think Jack it is. Stevens. Shot. Yeah, it's worrying, isn't it, when the centre-back... Stepping up edge of the box, what it is, isn't it? it? Jensen Silt. Has he got the corner? I don't think they have. So, yeah. First view, and I thought it was, you know, took a deflection, it looked like it had, and clearly on the replay it comes off Jensen Seal. Bednarek. Small bone. Manning offside. Offside. Yeah, I was going to say they can afford to just be patient now. Southampton move the ball around at the back and wait for the openings. Obviously, up to Sunderland to, to come and try and press them, get the ball off them high up the pitch. They'll look to exploit those little pockets of space. Yelled up. See there, I thought there was an opportunity there. Mason Burstow's on the shoulder of the centre-back, just leave it in behind. He, he turns out, comes back, and now we've give, well, we've got it back, but give the ball away. He's Trey Hume now for Sunderland. Remain Mundell. This rig trying to get in to the middle. Three minutes added on at the end of this first half. Manning brings it away for Southampton, tries to go inside, it's cut out by Chris Rigg, but he gets another chance. And Will Smallbone picks it up for Southampton here. Brooks gets the shot away. Not much venom in it, though. That's a couple of his added one from the free kick as well, didn't he, Brooks? And say as it opens up for him. 
just chops back inside on his favoured left foot. Not troubling Anthony Patterson. Downs, Adams. Howard Bellis. Just two examples there. I've just mentioned it 20, 30 seconds ago in the space of that time. Kjelder's had it on the left-hand side there and it's, he's dwelt on the ball. Just put it in behind. You can see Burst though, he's looking, he's gesturing, put it in behind for me like that there. It doesn't come off of Southampton, but... You know, messes the centre-backs about. You can't play 90 minutes of football in front of the opposition. You've got to try and stretch them and drag them about and we just don't do it enough. His job is to go back to Dan Ballard. Something dispossessed. Job does his best to get it back, but Southampton come out with it. As Country City equalise. Away at Watford. Ball breaks for Armstrong. Drops a shoulder, gets a shot away. We've had a few of those this afternoon. Yeah. A few soft shots from outside the area. Patterson's dealt with them well. First door drops it off for Hjelda and kneels inside him. His job. Ramin Mundell. Trey Hume. Trying to feed it to him back. It was cut out quite easily. And stoppage time ticks away at the end of this first half. We'll have a look at all the scores from around the championship. Plus, some of the key moments in this game so far. <laughs> Southampton well on top. <laughs> it's, uh, David Brooks does test Gavin Bazzino. Yes, yeah, half time whistle. Yeah, a lot of work for, for Mike Dodds to do in there this next 15 minutes or so. Get them together. Yeah, it is as well. And, but for, for the players, you know that yourselves, you've not been at it. Coming off the back of these five defeats as it is, it's going to be a tough one down at Southampton. I mean, if I'm being generous, a couple of moments in the in the first half, didn't we? I think the first three, four minutes, that half chance for, for Burstow, then the one off the post as well. But other than that, it's pretty much been all Southampton and, and littered with mistakes from ourselves. I've said that Mike Dons and his coaching staff will have looked to where they can exploit this Southampton side. They've got to be positive. They've got to try yeah, and find yeah, of a, have, yeah. a way to win. If not, it's a long 45 minutes. Again, he looked to his bench always, as he has done, sent the same 11 back out there and said, come on, I need more from you. Tidy it up. Create more. Bit of energy as well. You know, you're looking at it, as I said before, we haven't got the experience out there, but one thing we have got is youth. And what you expect from youth is to get around the pitch. Well, he is one of them. Ramin Mundell goes down. Fair challenge from Ryan Manning, the free says. We'll keep you across the scores in the championship as well as the game goes on. It's Dan Ballard. Rig tries to play it back. The possession goes to Southampton. He's Armstrong. Is it a cross? Hjelda inside to Dan Neal. Gets away from Smallbourne. Just wondering there, has he, has he swapped Trey Hume and Seal round centre half and, and right back? And here is Trey Hume on the yeah. ball right now. Possession goes away. Trey Hume gets it back. Having a handball there, but some of the possession. Dan Neal. Oh, maybe not, maybe it was just a passage of place he trained out. Took up his position again, I think. As Abdullah Bart, some flashes of him in the first half. He made a good couple of runs. Trey Hume plays it in. Looking for Ramin Mundell.
midfield. Cushing's headed forward to Dan Neal. Doesn't get the free kick. Harwood Bellis goes back to his keeper. Basso just come out to that left-hand side, side for the time yeah. being. Yeah, as, he, as he changes the football through the middle again, sometimes it's just a little bit of rotation as the action's happening, isn't it? But from Dan Ballard, say similar to the other one, wasn't it, where he went in on Trey, uh, on uh, Shea Adams? Yeah, didn't give the one that. earlier on. Yeah, he didn't give the one earlier on. Gives that one. the top Armstrong back to Adam Armstrong the second player went down there Mundell but play continues Smallbourne was in Job with a leg does he know yeah he did in the end yeah you can see it happening couldn't you a little give and go Smallbourne lovely little flick over the top he's Dan Neal bringing it away for Sunderland gets over the halfway line Drops it off to Abdullah Bar. Bar just sandwiched off the ball. Sealed this time. A few of these, haven't we? Yeah. Just happy to roll it in there. Armstrong on this occasion drops down to, to come in and receive it. So look at the one back now, yeah. Lovely little ball from Smallburn. And then as you say, yeah, it's Joe back there, just gets a toe on it, does he? Does enough. Broken up by Trey Hume. He's Mundell. Again pulled back. Nope. Job. Stutters. Southampton get it back. Burstow chases. Still chasing Burstow. Sealed. Good down, but then Armstrong takes it off his toe. Scrappy five minutes or so, wasn't it? He's just thinking the same. Yeah, thing neither though. side sort of dominating the ball, really, both giving it away. If anything, Sutherland's having a bit more possession. Yeah, trying to press a bit higher again. We've seen that in the first few minutes, and then all of a sudden it becomes a bit of a fear, I think, really, because you've been played through a couple of times. Offside, burst up. And then you get a little bit edgy, and you think, well, well, we've pressed them a couple of times there now, and they've played through us, and then all of a sudden that space is in behind us. You're less inclined to yeah, do but it again, that, that you especially mean? when you're a couple of goals down. But if you if you've set up that way and that's your game plan going into it, I know sometimes you have to adapt if you if you're getting picked off. But well, he's Adam Armstrong on that left hand side. He's inside the area now. Drops a shoulder, gets a shot away, takes a deflection. The referee does finally give the corner to Southampton. He'll get the shot away. Works though. an opening, doesn't it? Dan Ballard. It comes off in the end. With Smallbone. I remember him. He spell at Stoke City last season. Played well in that game and still came to the stadium yeah, of life. Yeah, good energy. Scored a goal as well, didn't he? He's taking the corner here. Onto the back post. Bobbling around. Yeah, it's wow. another one we don't deal with, isn't it? Deep to the to the far post. Drops down. Seen the uh, couple of subs, up. uh, Adil Alshish and yeah. Naz Rusin. I'd be surprised if you saw them in the hour mark, perhaps. He's done, Neil, captain this afternoon. Spreads the player to that right hand side. Jensen sealed. 
has the ball. Goes back to Job. Which is where Trey Hume plays. He pops up his left centre back at the minute, isn't he? And you know, out on that right hand side into centre midfield. Seems to be seems so, been given an opportunity to go down that right hand side in the second half. As Mundell pressures the ball, stops it going down the field. That's yeah, what they need to see more of from Mundell in the second half going forward. He had a couple of Moments in the first half, he fizzed a decent ball across, didn't he? And no, no take it. See there, it's Mason Burst though at the back post, too easy. Just look, Stevens keeps the wrong side of him. Yeah, he's yeah. got to be stronger. Clear it. Can't get, can't get rolled like that. Stan Ballard. And Neil plays it to Jensen Sealed. Goes through the middle, and that's easily picked up by Southampton. Smallbourne. Downs. Adams. It's for Armstrong. Plays the ball oh. across, and Yelda gets there, but... Yeah, well, he's, he's not sure. He does the right thing, doesn't he? Nobody's coming in behind him to deal with it, but... See, that's the type of ball you're looking for, isn't it? Look fizz ball in there, takes, what, one, two, three... Sunderland players out of the game, running back towards their own goal. Smallbourne's delivery, passing comes, gets something on it. Does well there, a few bodies in front of him, good punch. Is it Six yard box, wasn't it? A couple of subs are going to happen for Sunderland imminently. Up in the air. Oh, Sunderland get a free kick. I think Smallbone yeah. pushes the bottom of Trey Hume's back. Hume out of it, yeah. You think it's Bruce in and. Well, I think it's Al Sheesh and, Bruce and, Bruce and yeah. Just had that confirmed by our cameraman, the EFL cameraman, doing his job down at St Mary's. Myself and Danny back here at the Stadium of Light, and now I'm broom covered. Dollar Bars just shoved off the ball. David Brooks plays the ball inside and just almost comes off there for Shea Adams. Yeah, just see, we can't get out there. We've got to do more though. It comes into Abdullah Bar and he knows he's got a man tight. You've got to look after that. It's too easy. He's had a couple already in this half where it's stuck under his feet, and Southampton have took it off him too easy. Ballard. Held up. There's Job under pressure. So sailed. Job gets a free kick. This could be an opportunity for some subs. Yeah, there's a bit happening on the Southampton bench as well. Taking the free kick, or they're waiting for the fourth official fourth to get his yeah. numbers in. The first one is Bursto. So 55 minutes for him this afternoon. A couple of opportunities in that first half. The first one, can he do more with that first one? I think so. Drive it, goal a little bit more, get across his man, pull the trigger, looking to feed it into that far corner, and then the other one's a difficult one off the post. Because your rig comes off. Replaced by Adil Al Sheesh. Sheesh must have been yeah. close to coming on. I mean, starting the game. Sorry, Danny. Yeah, no, I, I would have gone with him to be honest. I, I'm surprised I didn't see him on the starting sheet. Perhaps the two of them rooting as well. Got to be honest. We we'll see a Southampton change as well in a moment. It's Carmel Dean. First substitution for the Saints. There's going to be another sub as well. Joe Rebo's going to come on as well. Smallbone going off. That's usually the hour mark when we see the substitutions happening, isn't it? But with both sides going early this afternoon. A couple for both sides. Second substitution for the Saints coming off. 
David Brooks is going off. He's been replaced by Suleimana Carmel Dean. Give you a stat on Suleimana now as well. Suleimana Camel Dean, yeah. yep. Most dribbles average of a game, 5.1. There's one for you. Jack Clark, I think, was third on the list. All right, okay. Yeah. So this lad obviously likes to carry the ball up the pitch. This is his first one straight away. Yeah, I think the graphic might be incorrect on the screen there. And here he is, dribbling, as Danny said. He's inside the area. Well, straight into the action, isn't he? Goes past a couple of Sunderland players straight away. Trey Hume there, slows him down. Shows him the ball and he's gone. And Jensen Seal getting back in. Does enough. I think it was maybe a goal kick that I thought Trey... Uh, Jensen Seal played it off him, to be honest. But, yeah, it looks a live wire, doesn't he? Sulemana. Being told he prefers Carmel Dean these days. The ball's played in, it's a, it's a deeper one, it's a big shout. Well, the crowd are up the to something on it, yeah. Stevens in the middle, gesturing to the linesman that is being held. Still having a word with <laughs> Stuart, Stuart Atwell. Atwell on his way back. Just Have keep your eye on it there. Back, back post Moosen. area. Oh, he's got his elbow in on Moosen. Yeah, bit, bit of both going on. Let's see, the linesman, if he's down on that side, I think he is, isn't he? Looking straight at it. What's happening here? Probably needs to calm down a little bit, doesn't he? The way he's speaking to the referee. Yeah, he's not. I mean, just keep an eye on it. So he's got his shirt there. He's trying to get off him, isn't he? And then he throws an arm at him. And then, yeah, Rusin just has another go at his shirt. So he's got to be careful, though, Rusin as well. And you're back there defending. Sheesh trying to get, the, get it back. A rebels on it at the moment. He does get it back, Al Sheesh. Puts it inside for Dan Neal. Abdullah Bar now for Sunderland. Still bar. Just took one touch too many. Yeah, a big Put opportunity, yeah. One-on-one on one up against Harwood Bellis as well. Doesn't do enough with it. Strong challenge from Bar. Stops the run of a rebo. And here we are at the hour mark. Something two goals down, down at St Mary's. If you want to have your say about the game, use the hashtag AskDanny on social media. The production team will pick it up and put you in the post-game programme. We'll be back in the sports bar for that, following the final whistle. Joel Rebo came off the bench and got the winner in the last game. and gathers. You see him again there, running in behind, wasn't he? Probably showed into feet, we could see it out of picture, but getting in behind Trey Hume. Dan Neal. Someone plays stayed down, I think it's our Sheesh. Trey Hume gets on the end of this one. Looking for the early ball in, he could have taken a touch, he gets it back anyway. Mundell, he's looking for the early ball in as well. Bars on the back of Stevens. Mundell. Hume with the delivery. It's quite flat though. Someone keep on coming forward. Mundell with the shot. Takes a deflection. Oh. Does it? It's gone in anywhere. And Sunderland are back in this. Yeah, I see Southampton players having a word with each other. Do they think it's a foul over there? I'm not sure, but it's a little bit scrappy on the right hand side. I think Trey Hume's tried to put a ball in, comes back out there, and they managed to steal it. Sunderland, as it comes to Mundell, he pulls the trigger, takes a big deflection, but it flies past Bazunu. You see there, no, it's a bad touch from Manning, doesn't deal with it. So the Marner, Trey Hume, nicks it off him, and there on his left foot, and 
Yeah, up and over, is it? Off oh, and off the post as well. Keeper can do nothing with that. I think Stevens was booked as well immediately yeah, after he was, the shot yeah. went in. Sure, he comes off his heel. Maybe he's having a word with there, Stevens. Well, Ramin Mundell yeah. will claim it though, and he gets his first goal for Sunderland. Yeah, seeing it back, that's not a foul, by the way, yet. Yeah. Trey Hume wins the ball. And as you say, Mundell pulls the trigger. He gets his first goal for the club. Plenty time left in this game. Yeah, Sunderland back in it, You're thinking there wasn't too much happening really. It was comfortable for Southampton and out of nowhere, that's what can happen. Back in the game. Good play to Mundell as well, taking the shot on. Yeah. Say, you can say a little bit fortunate, obviously he takes that little deflection, doesn't it? And loops up and over into that corner. Saying no chance for Bazunu getting across his line to get to it. Fans behind that goal, believe. It's taken a long time, Howard Bellis, from this throw in. He's going to boot Gelder, 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 but, but I think. He didn't give it. Got, he didn't really have a chance to get away from the yeah, ball. Yeah, it's one of those where the opposition maybe play for it, isn't it? Trying to play it against him quick and yeah, again we didn't quite see it happening, did we? With the replay, I think going on. How I many is that in the book now? It's three of the back four, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Give it away again, Southampton. He's Job for Sunderland. Abdullah Barr on the left hand side. Barr goes for the That's cross. The ball. Sunderland players oh. arriving. That was Mundell who was closest. Yeah, lovely ball in from Barr. You can see there the shape on it. Lovely cross, wasn't it? And Mundell's trying to get there. Let's have a look, he gets inside. Manning as well. Oh, meanwhile, Southampton yeah. get themselves in a bit of bother. A little bit edgy, aren't they? Southampton. I couldn't see that. The director was still focused on the replay. Oh, at the mercy of the EFL cameramen down at St well, Mary's. There we go again. Suddenly get it back. Southampton on the ropes. Rusin. Side netting. Yeah, on the ropes a little bit, Southampton. Can't keep the ball. You can hear the crowd getting restless. See Rusin just pulls out to the left there. Angles against him. See, decent enough strike. Never troubling the goalkeeper though. And here's that one back. Abdullah Bar. Lovely ball in, just shaping away though, isn't it? From Remain Mundell trying to get there. Adams. It's Dan Ballard injured there, is it? Yeah, yeah. Someone's gone down for Sunderland. It might have been Dan Ballard. As Arebo comes forward, Armstrong. Ronald Dean, deflection, but Parsons alive to it. To see what's yeah, wrong just with saying the players put it put it out of play yeah, there. Has that, no one, he oh. hasn't. Give it to Oh sheesh. Let's hope Dan Ballard is okay. Having just come back from that suspension. Yeah, it doesn't look good. I just said it first off, didn't I? It didn't look too comfortable. I thought he was held in, held his knee area. You see it there, his left knee possibly. Just wants a second opinion from Pete Brand. Well, you mentioned before you're thinking defensively on the bench there. Pembelli's on the bench, isn't he? I think you've got Tommy Lavery. Yep. Maybe drop Trey Hume in there, put Pembelli at right back. Yeah, that's what we can continue though. To a reminder who's on the, uh, the bench for Sunderland. Pembelli, yeah. Uh, Callum Styles. Yeah, he stands on, on the left, left side, and then yeah. Kiela goes in the middle. Yeah, bump it across one, possibly. Yeah, you see him there holding the back of his leg. Dan like, Ballard, like hamstring good. area, was that? Was it knee or? It's a bit going in there, isn't it? Yeah, looked like his, his hamstring at first, but then it's his knee possibly as well. Not sure, but anyway, chance for Mike Dodds now to get around the lads. Got goal, got back in the game. 
That's how football can go. Southampton were comfortable, weren't they? There wasn't a lot happening in the game from our point of view going forward. And then a couple of changes. You know, the last five minutes have made yeah. loads of mistakes. Some mistakes, yeah. It's filtering through the team. So Martin will not be happy with that. We've got a mistake in them. Remember, Southampton have lost three of their last five. Dan Ballard not back on his feet just yet. He's just getting there. I'm running through a couple of scores. Hull City 2, Leicester City 2 is the latest score. So is Norwich City 5, Rotherham 0. Pull out a couple of others. Stoke City winning away at Preston. Big result for them in the bottom three if it stays like that. Middlesbrough as well, 1 0, Queen's Park Rangers. Keep an eye on Dan Ballard here. That is Callum Styles strip though. Has the decision been made? Yeah, let's have a look now. Will he come on left back, possibly left back, and move Helder across one in there with Jensen Silt? Oh, it's Dan Ballard trying to say he's okay to yeah, carry I think on. He wants to continue. The risk as well. Luke's obviously out for another game, isn't he? Dan picks up another injury. Perhaps that substitution did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> they went early on the sub, didn't they? Itself, yeah. yeah. Just having a look at it. He's not come back on though, Dan Ballard. He's still, I think, well, on the halfway line. second oh. thing, isn't it? He held it. So I want to get that momentum back. He's a rebo. Armstrong. Downs. No foul. As Rusin gets it. Plays it off the Southampton man. Armstrong stood, stood on. on his hand, I think. Uh, that's I think Dan Ballard did come back on and he's realised straight away yeah, that no, he can't yeah, it's continue. Not right. I, you know, I think Mike Dodge just going to say, listen, Dan, just leave it. Luke 9 has got another game suspended. We don't need to lose you as well. Get him off, make the change, get him treated. So Callum Styles will come on. Do you think it will happen a bit of a shuffle of the, of the pack and he'll go on the left? If he comes on the left, back, yeah, just, just bump them across one at the back. Yeah, it is, yeah, straight onto the throw in, left back. We've got still 20 minutes or so to go, try and get some momentum going again now. It's been stop start, hasn't it, really, since we got the goal? Three changes for Sunderland, just the two for Southampton. Bruce and leaps, continues his run, trying to get the ball. Zuno under pressure, plays it out. Manning only as far as Dan Neal. Neal plays it forward. Oh, she's looking for Bart. They come together, but neither of them get it. Job might, though. Does he fancy one? Job! It's oh! Curly! What a goal! <laughs> Job has scored! Well, he got himself in a mess in the first half and gifted Southampton the goal. And he's made amends, hasn't he? What a strike. And he's over to those Sunderland fans behind the goal. And as we said there, looked like Sunderland were dead and buried at 2 0. Got themselves back into it. 2 2. What a strike from Job. And the Sunderland fans on the south coast yeah. have gone crazy. Southampton have got themselves in a mess, haven't they? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, really. And for no chance again for the goalkeeper. You can see what he's looking for. Benderek just stands off him a little bit and then he shifts it to the right a yard or two. Joe Bellingham just opens up for him and kills it into that far corner. And Sunderland right back in it. 2 2. Game on. You just felt in that spell, didn't you? Just before Ballard went off, Sunderland were coming into it. Southampton were making mistakes. Mistakes, yeah. I, think I remember Downs, one went into him, he gave the ball away and it just went through through the side. And there's another change for Southampton now. Stuart Armstrong going off. A couple of changes. And Joel Rothwell comes on. Jack Stevens, the captain, going off. 
James Bree comes on. Yeah, Stevens, I think he was on that booking as well, wasn't he? Getting a bit agitated, having a few words with Stuart Atwell earlier on. Four changes then in the overall for Southampton. That's James Bree, he's a defender, so he'll go probably in where Stevens was. Maybe he's going across to that right hand side and Howard Bellis goes into the middle. Yeah, it looks like he's coming at right back, yeah. Again, shifted across, similar to ourselves. The Sunderland fans want the Sunderland players to attack it, and they're doing that again. It's got to give them belief, hasn't it? Well, it has, yeah. It has indeed, yeah. Tails are up now, going to put pressure on them. Said they've looked edgy, haven't they, Southampton, in this second half? It's the Sunderland fans, you can hear... I think Andy Labar just bumped him off it there down below us. He will not be happy, 2-0 up. And then in the space of around 10 minutes, 2-2. Two -two. Those graphics on you can see on your screen, something wrong with those. So that wasn't what just happened. We'll, that. we'll kick the computer and get it fixed in a moment. I was going to say, from Southampton's point of view, Suleiman, who was lively, wasn't he, the first few minutes when he came on, but he hasn't seen much of the ball. Well, here he is here, Danny. Now. I think it's Mundell holding his head. The referee should stop it if it's a head injury. Yeah, it's happened off the ball, hasn't it? Southampton complaining. They're not really in an attacking position, are they? The ball's back with the keeper. Yeah, they've got possession. Yeah. And they'll get it back, you'd think. Look, just keep your eye on Mundell there now in the little give and go. I think it's a trailing leg might come up and hit him. Let's keep going. Is it Downs? Look at Downs, yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. Hands on his boot. As you were. Flynn Downs. Brought it back to the free kick, I think. Yeah. I think it's Yelder, isn't it? He's got to be careful. He's on a yellow card. Yelder, Ballard, and Sealed. And then Yellows. Preston and Stoke is 1 1 now. Middlesbrough got another goal away at QPR. It's 2 0 now. Coventry City have taken the lead and Watford. Back to Bizzuno. So increasingly looking at a bit unsure playing it out from the back. Sunderland try and get it back. Almost do, but Southampton. Well, there we go they again, have got yeah. it back. Persistence is paying off. Ooh. He's Mundell. He's got options to the left and right. Runs into a rebo. Rusin now. Mundell. Gets around him. And then Nasrusen wrestles him to the ground, yeah, doesn't he? Stops the attack. He's going to get booked. No, got away with it. Last chance, Saloon. Yeah, it's good though. Good pressure from Sunderland. You see the lads going together. I think Seals actually wins it, doesn't he? Quite high up or puts pressure on him. He's been watching Job. Six Nations. <laughs> Southampton again trying to play it out. Adams. Almost tackled by Hjelda, who's the, almost the furthest player forward for Sunderland. He's got to get back now. Oh, he's on side, far side. And that's why he needs to get back, because he's Armstrong across. for Southampton. Come across. And it's Hjelda who's back oh. there, but it goes in in the end. Yeah, it's the risky play, but I think in there, Hjelda, he's got to come across at some stage. You know, I think he is on side. You look on the far side, Trey Hume's deeper than everybody else. Joe the rest well. Yeah, the rest of the backline are trying to step up. As it gets crossed in, yeah, oh, you can't see from this angle now. See Adam Armstrong, he's looking in the middle. I think Sielder eventually cuts it out. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's unfortunate. It's a decent strike, isn't it? Goes through the legs. I think it's a Dan Neal back there. Yeah, 
crisp strike on the half volley. And as you say, yeah, we just got ourselves back in it. We're pressing high up, taking the ball off Southampton. They managed to, to beat us, pressing on that occasion there. And they've got themselves back in front. It's one of the boys off the bench, isn't it? Yeah. Joel Rothwell with the goal. He's on loan from Bournemouth this season. Makes it 3-2 to Southampton. Still in it. If you only a goal I, I, I was going to say it a minute ago. I don't think it's going to finish 2-2 this, and I'm glad I never, because obviously you know, I would have put the kiss of death on us, but it's happened anyway. So we'll give it away straight from the kickoff. Manning has finally stopped. But he gets the free kick. Stuart Atwell. Can't take your eyes off this one now. Sulemana Carmel Dean. Manning. Falls back. Sullen smell blood, but they can't oh, get the ball. Nearly, yeah, nearly nicked it off him there. We'll start again from his throw in. Ekwar warming up over there. As Russell Martin looks on, he'll be happy the back in front. Well, he will be, he'll be edgy though, won't he, after side second half performance. Styles. Side to Dan Neal. Dan Neal looking for Oshish, who's not really got into the game yet. Sunderland pressing. Down the line. Styles comes across. Can't get there. Arebo can. Puts it through the middle. Yeah, this is the trouble now. It's four on three. This is Rothwell. He's just scored for Southampton. Adams pulls the defender away. Comes all the way through. Armstrong! Stopped on the line, but it goes in. Yeah. And Rothwell has another. Again, you see the, the Beatles pressing high up there. Southampton, they, they wriggle themselves out of it on this right hand side. He's looking a little bit leggy across the pitch. And then that looks at that big pocket of space there. You see all the, the yellow shirts ahead of the plate. Rothwell does well, just assesses things, doesn't he? Say four on three there. We narrow it up, squares it out there. It's not a great strike, is it? You know, Trey Hume back there. Getting himself back on the line, gets it clear. But uh, Southampton get themselves. A little cushion there now. Two in two minutes from Joe Rothwell, the man on loan from Bournemouth. And Sunderland are two down again in this game, having got themselves right back into it. Game's changed yeah, so much. It's, it's difficult because you get yourselves back in at 2 2, and we're in the ascendancy there. You can see the energy high up the pitch, and then, you know, they're a good team, Southampton, and they managed to, they, especially the third one there, where they, they managed to play through us. And they're into it, but then. It's, it's, it's being organised behind the ball as well and leaving those gaps, isn't it? It's the risk you take and we've been punished twice from it now. Mundell trying to win it back for Sunderland, goes down. Gets a corner, a few of the Sunderland fans saying should have been a penalty. Yeah, let's have a look at it back now. Let's it run across him there, Benderek. And, hmm. It's a bit wild, isn't it? Oh, sheesh. I think he's got the safe route there, Stuart Artwell, just give the corner. Yeah. Sunderland's second corner of the game, I make it. Offside. No, I'm getting, no ball's, come off. ball's gone out of oh, play. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. Out, uh, it's that outswinger, isn't it? It's annoying. Yeah. To Rebo, it's going back to Bazunu. So, yellowy green shirts trying to close down the Southampton shirts once again. Ednerick plays it to the left hand side, that's where Ryan Manning is.
Jackson. Four balls in this second half. Will we see any more? Well, Rusin's stolen off him. And his ball to Styles is tricky. Styles does well to keep it in. Dan Neal spinning round. Trey Hume looking for Job. He's fouled. What's happening here? No, substitution again. That is Sekumara. He's going to come on. This will be their final substitution. Shea Adams making way for Mara. He's got six goals in all competitions this season. Been fairly quiet, Shea Adams, today, hasn't he, really? Looking at the top end of the pitch for Southampton. Brooks involved a little bit more in, and Armstrong as well. That's the final substitution for Southampton. And this is a head injury. Callum Styles now. Abdullah Bar can suddenly get back into this game once again. Bednarik taking no chances. Aribo. Can we get away from Callum Styles. Mundell will chase it now. Manning has it. Downs slips then. Oshish gets in. He'll have a shot. Stings the hands of Bazunu. Yeah, you can see what he's looking for. Just opened himself up there, like similar to Job, didn't he? And find that far corner, but he places it straight at Bazunu. I fancied him there. Just drive at him a little bit more, maybe. 1v1. Oshish almost closing down Bazunu. Sonnen do get the ball. Dan Neal. Jensen sealed. Trey Hume looking for Job. Bazuna comes. Gallus. So hits the final five minutes of normal time. Down at St. Mary's Stadium. Joe Rebo comes over the halfway line. Oh. Carmel Dean shoots. Stopped by Gelda. Proper live wire, isn't he? A little step over there. Goes past Trey Hume. Fjelder across on the cover. Rothwell is going to cross and take the corner. Two goals since coming on. Have your say in the post-game programme. Use the hashtag AskDanny. Tell us where Sunderland have gone wrong this afternoon. It comes through. And the header from Mara hits the top of the net. So this, this is going to be a concern for us between now and then. Look at the bodies. Somebody ducks. We duck out of it, but we've got seven or eight bodies. And look at the goals we're conceding, the ball coming in the box. We've got to deal with things better. Daniel gets in there. Oh, she takes it off his toes. Manning will try and keep it in. And puts it past Job. And plays it downfield. But it's blocked by Trey Hume and Sunderland can come again. Looks like Sunderland will make a change soon. Could be Pierre Equal. Can't quite make him out. Abdullah Bar. Oh, sheesh. He's kept it in. He's won the throw. He has. Yeah, full substitution for Sunday. Coming off. Is number 14. Mundell making way. 
Someone's fourth change. Pierre coming on. Scored in this fixture earlier this season. He scored two in that game at the Stadium of Life. Did, yeah. Styles battling to get it. He does get there. Oh, oh I thought he did. Yeah, I think he's played the ball as he caught him on his follow through. I think the referee's actually, again, standing there thinking about it for a few seconds, isn't he? Let's have a look. Yeah, see, he plays the ball with his left foot. Just catches him and follow through with his right foot, I think. But Suns came out there for a second down at St Mary's. It's Bazunu. Plays it inside to Aribo. Cut out by Equa. He's Job. Equa's there. Job. Yeah, Equa. Floats one over, looking for Aushish. And Aribo turns out with it again. Downs. To Bizzuno. As we hit almost the 90th minute of the game. They will be out of time. Oh, son of player's gone down, holding his face there. Tielda. As Aribo caught him, trying to hold him off with the elbow. Yeah, Rebo's going to get given a yellow card for time wasting, holding on to the ball. Yes, let's have a look back now. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those in it trying to hold him off. I think he's caught him on the side of his head. Rebo goes in the book and joins Jack Stevens, but has already left the field of play. We'll wait added time soon. It'll probably be a fair, fair few minutes considering the goals and the changes. Substitutions as well, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go five or six four, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say four or five, yeah. So this isn't necessarily the last chance for Sunderland. Oh, two down. Seven. Seven minutes. Southampton scored two in two. I think you say Dan Ballard went down as well, didn't he? In the other injuries. Yeah. He went down twice. Yeah. Someone have a throw. There's a little change since obviously Mondo went off route and you see gone up to that right hand side. Pretty much a 4 4 2 with Job and O'Shea's through the middle. Here comes in. Oh, <sighs> Abdullah Bar was going to get there. He chases it. Bree Downs gets it back. Mara Mara gets himself into it. some trouble there. How oh, she shoots, but it's straight at the goalkeeper. Yeah, he's had a couple of sighters, hasn't he? But fortunately, straight at the goalkeeper. See Hielder there, bit of pressure on him. Takes the ball off him, gets it stuck between his legs. A little, a little deflection. Played one of the seven. Pull him back and come on together. Mike Dodds looking down at a possible. Sixth defeat in a row for Sunderland Football Club. And at any level, fans and staff know that's not good enough. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? From the position we were in as well. Yeah, we said it before, it's not been easy for him, has it, since he came into the job that, you know, the key players which are out of the squad but the lads as well, they've got to get together. Try and put a halt to this losing streak we're on. Saints player of the match is Jan Bednarek. Well, the defender, Jan Bednarek, getting 
the home man of the match inside yeah. the stadium. It says um, something perhaps. Yeah, you can, well, uh, has he been that busy really? Not not so much, no, a bit of a strange one for me, but looking at someone at the top end of the pitch. He's Armstrong, he hasn't stopped all afternoon. He's got a goal to his name as well. Bellis goes back to his keeper. Another minute ticks by. Long old journey back for those Sunderland fans behind the goal. And Rothwell. Side netting. Yeah, this time side netting. Sulemana, Carmel Dean. Actually, fancied him here to try a little bit more. We've seen that step over before on Trey Hume, but yeah, he's never really going to. Cat Anthony Patterson out as an ear post there. Sheesh just gets caught under his feet as he tries to leave his man behind. Here's Equal. Trey Hume. Equal gets it back. Looking for Rusin, who's pushed down. He's going to get the foul. Get your opinions in now. Use the hashtag AskDanny on social media. The production team will take your points of view and put it in the post-game programme. Zekwa plays it through. It's too much on that one for Job. Yeah, it's another disappointment for those Sunderland fans. Travelled a long way, haven't they? Again on the road. Last Saturday at Norwich. Today again down at St Mary's. It's been a pretty relentless week, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, they had a, perhaps a, a ten-minute spell there, didn't they, where they got the hopes up, and then all of a sudden it was taken away again. You get a full week though to recover and go again. QPR come to the Stadium of Light on Saturday the 16th. Full game kick off for that one. Johnson sealed deals with that one, gives it to Trey Hume. He's under pressure, plays it forward. It's easily cut out though. Rothwell takes it out and play it and kicks the ball away. I think he should get a yellow card for that. Yes. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I don't think it'll phase him too much coming off the bench and popping up with two goals. Sunderland fans deep into stoppage time, behind by two goals. Dil Alshish plays it forward, looking for Job to try and get on the end of it. Zunu will take his time over this. They've got to recover, they've got to go again got on go Saturday. Again. Yeah, I think, good job, we haven't got a midweek game, I think, as you mentioned there. Just get a full week into them, try and get a bit of rest after this three-game week. Been tough again. No points from it. Incidentally, Joe cementing himself as Sunderland's second top goal scorer with that McNally sixth. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Randall getting his first goal for the club. Side there, Job. Yeah, yeah. It's another day, isn't it? Where we haven't got a striker on the score sheet again. Frustrating. So burst out a couple of opportunities in the first half. Rusin one into the side netting, didn't he? I think earlier on his left foot. Other than that, not too much to go on. And that'll do. That's that down at St Mary's, Danny. Yeah, another disappointing afternoon. I think coming into it, you would have fancied Southampton and, and the position they were in as well. Two goals up. 